Hey everyone, Eric with Pure Pressure here. Just gonna help you select which bags you wanna use when you're pressing rosin. Got a couple different bags down here. We have everything that allows you to press from keef to bubble on the 36 micron end of the spectrum, uh, 72, 90, and then the 115s, better for flour. To get started, got some gloves. Gonna get these ready. So I've got our quick flip tool here. Anytime you're pressing with a bag, you always want to turn it inside out. So you have this easy little tool, you just slide it right on the end here, put it through, and then press it down. I'm going to press out the corners, and the reason that you want to turn it inside out is that you don't, you don't want any blowouts. So now, I've got my bag inside out, my corners are all pressed, I'm ready to go. So today we're going to be pressing some Cinderella 99 crossed with the white. This is a great strain. We really think it's going to yield quite a bit. Put that in my tray. We have just about a quarter of an ounce here that we're going to pack up. So we get a lot of people talking to us and they're asking, should I grind this up before I put it in the bag? How do I do that? We don't actually recommend that you do because then you're getting trichomes that are in your grinder or wherever you're processing it. I'm going to take these nuggets and I'm going to put them straight in the bag and then break them up. So take these, put it right in. I'm going to start breaking this up with my hands. So again, not grinding before I'm putting it in the bag. I'm kind of breaking it up with my hands in here already. So one thing when you're packing these bags is that you really want to make sure that you don't have any big stems in there. So if you're pressing some material that happens to have big prominent stems, you're going to want to pick those out. What you can see now is I'm actually just working this down to the bottom of the bag and I'm trying to fill it out and make it as even as possible. So any gaps or spaces that you have in your bag, that's where your oil is going to get trapped. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just breaking this up with my fingers filling it out, making sure it's nice and even. You could definitely fit more than a quarter ounce in one of these six inch bags, and with the nine inch bags, you can get just under an ounce. It's evened out, so here we've got our bag. It's just about ready to go. Now, one thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put down, and I'm gonna put some pressure on it, because you wanna pack this as tight as it's gonna go ahead of time, so that when you actually start pressing, all the oil has the right path to come right out of the bag. Got a little extra space here at the end. So this is what I'm gonna do. Take a pair of scissors and cut off so I have just about an inch at the top. There we go. Cool. So I've got a little bit here at the top, a little bit of space. And then when we're ready to press is what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is flip this over before you slide it in so you have a nice little envelope. So here we go. Here is our bag. It is ready to press. So this is ready to go. As soon as we're ready to press, uh, we'll go on over.